Hi, I'm Nana Girl and I want to be a superhero. And this week, the superpower I'm trying to get is the power of the Earth. I mean, think about it. Right here on planet Earth, there are so many amazing natural phenomenon. Ooh, that's a big and tricky word. Hold on, say it with me. Actually, don't say it with me. It's trickier than I thought. Anyway, think about all of the powerful things that could happen with the Earth. Like we could have the power of water from rain and waves from the ocean and heat from the sun and wind from... Where does the wind come from? Wind... Mm, doesn't matter. Wind would be cool. Everybody would be completely blown away. <laughs> Get it? Blown away? You know, because the wind blows. You didn't get it? Oh, you did get it, it wasn't funny? Yeah, okay. Have you ever wondered where the wind comes from? It's actually produced because the sun heats up the Earth's surface, but it does it unevenly. Some parts of the Earth get really hot, whereas others are in the shade and they don't get so hot. Now, hot air rises. So in the hot places, the air rises and cold air comes and moves in to replace the hot air. This moving air is wind. That's it. So windmills and wind turbines, they catch the wind almost every day. These are giant structures with huge blades on the front that turn when it's windy. They use the force of the wind pushing against their blades to keep them spinning, which is great for us because we can use them to convert wind energy into electricity. The great thing about the superpower of capturing the wind is that there's always going to be more. It's called being renewable. Okay, well if there's lots of it, we should capture it. Let's figure out how to do that. For this experiment, you're going to need a square of thin card, mine's 21 centimeters long, a small piece of stiffer card, like from a cereal box, about four centimeters by eight centimeters, a rectangular strip of paper, 10 centimeters wide, a ruler, a full length pencil, scissors, sticky tape, a small piece of string, a weight, I'm going to use maybe a bit of blue tech or I might use Nano Nano Girl, a little bit of plasticine and something small and round to draw around. So first you're going to roll your strip of paper around your pencil into a straw and you need to roll it not too tightly so that your pencil actually has enough room to wiggle a little bit and then you're going to tape the seals of the edges up. Okay, then pull your pencil out. Next, you're going to use your scissors to carefully cut out two two centimeter lengths of straw. Okay, these are going to be our bearings. We're gonna set those aside for now. Now we're going to be trying to use the power of the wind to wind up our string around the pencil. Now we're gonna call this pencil the drive shaft and to make sure that the string goes around the pencil neatly, we need some guides and we're going to make what we're calling a spool. So to do that, take your small piece of stiff card and draw two circles the same size, one next to each other. I'm going to draw around this bottle cap because it's going to make my life a little bit easier to make them round and the same size. And now I'm going to cut those out to give me two equal circles. Now we want to thread our two spool guides onto our pencil. So we're gonna poke a hole right in the center of each guide. Now, you need to find something pointy like a pencil, but also I think it helps if you put a little bit of plasticine or blue tack underneath it, it'll help you poke it through. So gently, once you've got a hole in there, work it through so that your pencil eventually goes all the way through and your spool around the widest part of your pencil, like this. Okay, so this is gonna be one end of our spool. Now we're gonna tie a knot in the end of our string, and then we're gonna tape this end of the string to the end of the pencil. Now I'm gonna take my second spool guide and I'm gonna make a hole through it again, like I did before, using something sharp. And again, we're gonna thread it through until it's all the way through the full width. Okay, 
Now it's through, you're going to move this up until it's about two centimetres distant from your first guide. So here is your spool. Okay, what that's going to allow is our string to neatly spool or roll up like this. So next, you're going to need your square of card. Here we go, we're going to fold it once this way to make a crease, corner to corner. Then you're going to take the opposite corners and you're going to fold the other way. And that's going to give you a cross right here in the middle. And we're going to mark our middle point here. And now we want to draw a line that is about two thirds of the way in from the end corner. And you're going to do that for each of the corners. Now we want to cut along these lines that we just made. So these are going to be our wind turbine blades. So we need to be able to thread these turbine blades onto our pencil drive shaft. So again, poke a hole in the center of the card, use the pointy end of the pencil to widen the hole, but this time take it off and thread it from the back of the pencil instead once you have a hole that's big enough. Now the back of your turbine blade needs to sit against the back of your spool guide and we're going to tape that together with a little bit of tape. And now we just need to shape our turbine blades. Okay, so you're going to fold it down, put a bit of sticky tape on the end, you're going to fold it down towards the centre here. And then you're going to do that for each one of these triangles that you've made. We're going to keep going round until all four points have been taped. Okay, there we go, almost ready to catch the wind. So now you have your wind turbine and then your spool and the string. Finally, we're gonna to need to engineer our gantry, the platform that our turbine's gonna sit on. So take your ruler and stick it securely to your bench with sticky tape. Now, so that you can see this, I'm actually gonna do this a little bit higher. You need a little bit sticking out of the end, like so. So it's time for the bearings that we made earlier. Slide the two bearings over the pencil and lie the whole assembly along the ruler. You want to take the bearings to the ruler, but not so firmly that the pencil doesn't rotate freely. Okay, time for the moment of truth. Let's see if it works. Ta-da! It does work. Okay. So that's quite good on its own, but what about if we tried it with my little lab partner? Let me see, she's in my pocket. It's Nano Nano Girl. Okay, Nano Nano Girl, I need you to help me in the experiment. Here's what I need you to do. I need you to grab the rope at the end here for me. Thank you very much. And hopefully when our turbine catches the wind, we're gonna take that power and we're gonna get you to climb up. Do you know what I think? I think she needs more wind. Hold on. Oh yeah. How did we do, Nana Nana girl? How? What? You're dizzy? Oh, okay. But it worked, right? We used the power of the wind to haul you up. Oh. What? You're dizzy and your arm is tired. She's always complaining. Okay, well I think that would. We're able to use the wind to create power to lift Nano Nano Girl up. I reckon we're onto something here. Hold on, what? You've got wind? Ew, that's gross. Oh, and that's a stinky one too. No, that's not the sort of wind we're talking about. Yuck, I am out of here. See you guys later.